Mr. Speaker, during the presentation, the member for Swizel South Boost raised the issue that he is of the opinion that we should consider placing a member of the Rastafarian movement on the board of the uh, Regulatory Substance Authority. Uh, but Mr. Speaker, maybe what I need to bring to the, to the members' attention that that would be more appropriate uh, when we deal with the cannabis bill itself. Because we believe, when you look at the objective of the authority, we believe that um, when you look at section 22, that the, we have a, on 22CD, we said a representative of civil society. Especially when you're looking at the objective of this bill, we believe that it might be prudent not to put a member of the Rastafarian movement on this authority bill. We believe that it is more appropriate to put, let them be represented on the cannabis um, section. That's my, that's my humble view on that particular thing. But I'm open to, I'm open to the opinion of the, of this honorable house. Yeah? Yeah? Um, so, Mr. Speaker, as I said, the work of the committee and the ministry continues as we try to bring this cannabis industry to life. The regulatory substances bill is, as I believe, another move to establish a proper ecosystem for the cannabis industry and for other regulated substances. Again, I am pleased that we are doing this within business month, Mr. Speaker. It was not planned, but everything is coming back to this month of November. This is business month. And what we are doing there now as it relates to the cannabis industry is part of our business development. And just before that, the conversation we are having, the adjustment to the um, St. Lucia, Invest St. Lucia bill, all of it is saying that we are coming to age within the month of November. What I need to, Mr. Speaker, want to present here to this Honorable House is to give all the assurance that the public conversation and stakeholder discussion continues. I think more than anything else, the public education in our schools, with our police officers, with the Rastafarian um, community itself in terms of their role and, and how they benefit from that industry is something that we must do in a more aggressive way. And I'm giving this honorable um, members here a commitment that the next phase is for this. I want to also report that um, the, our legal officer and I will be traveling out next week to one of the workshops, again, a cannabis workshop, to try to learn all we can so that we can put the finishing touches on the cannabis bill itself. So, Mr. Speaker, I present this bill to this house and I want to thank members for the patience and for bringing it together. I thank you.